Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to a super, super late edition of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Two things. A, it's like 3 in the morning. B, which the first one was totally irrelevant, but I don't really care. B, if I told you straight to your face that I didn't have a thing or two to drink this evening, then I would be lying to you. Now, am I drunk, you might ask, because of that previous statement? Well, I'm going to tell you no. No, I am not. But am I 100% sober? I am also not. But that's okay. Because sometimes life happens, and when it gets in the way, you simply take your penis out, and you put it inside of life, and say, guess what? This is what's going to happen. And it works out that way, because that's just the way that life is. Not to mention, I'm sure somebody's going to ask, well, why did you do what you did? Well, <laughs> what? Hold on a minute. So, wait a second. So I'm not even going to be able to do this race. What the fuck? Uh, hold on, hold on. Something's not right here. So, okay, I can't even have either one of those cars. I mean, let's be honest here. I had a couple of beers, and I had this really weird, like, eggnog thing, which was awesome, by the way. So, hold on a second. So, which one of these am I even supposed to have? I need to go... Oh, my God. This is not the time for me to be thinking about this. Um, hold on. What the fuck are these people driving, then, if I can't even use the car that I bought? These fucking assholes. Part three, by the way. Uh, it was my friend Maddie's birthday. You guys know who Maddie is. He's done stuff. A land sprint. S2. Sprints. Do, do I not have one of those? I'm pretty sure I have one of those. The S2 and the sprint. So it was his 26th birthday today, by the way. Or yesterday, technically. Um, so we went out to this awesome ass pizza place where you can order literally a bucket of alcohol. Like it's literally like a little like a little child's like lunch like a little child's like, you know, bucket that you take to the beach and put sand in, and they just fill that full of ice and alcohol and like an energy drink. It's like the coolest thing in the world. So S2, we have the fucking S290. So what the hell's going on? So I have to go out and buy one of these now. So stupid. Alright, whatever. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. We're gonna get it in this weird bullshit yellow just because I don't even care. Um, but yeah, just so they had like a bucket of alcohol and they also had these, uh, like these, like jello shots, but they put them in like these weird, like crazy, like syringe, like plastic syringe type of things. And you can take them that way. It was really weird, but super awesome. And their pizza was amazing. Like, I think I still have some left over in my car. And because of the fact that it's like 19 degrees outside, it's like a little personal freezer over there right now. So that's pretty sick. I'm pretty excited about that. Part Q. To end this little, this little uh, Shabazz Napier that I'm talking about here. I definitely have McDonald's breakfast sitting right before me at this very moment, which is... In, which is pretty much like a joygasm, like my dick is just spewing out reproductive fluid at this point because that's what you're supposed to do when you're happy. I mean, if people weren't just like shooting out jizz when they were happy, then I don't even know what we're even on the earth for. It's not even worth anything at, the, at that point. If if you can't be excited and just you know have your liquid kids flying out every which way possible, then I mean, what are we even doing here? I mean, what's what's the point? Hey, here we go. All right, now we're in. Now we're in business. Even though I wasted a lot of money. Let's get the purple one. We haven't done purple with anything. I, I do like purple, unless it's the Washington Huskies. Then I don't like purple. And those guys are fucking assholes. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. I have to work at 11 o'clock, and I'm the only one awake in my house. Total, total bullshit. I went to uh, I went to McDonald's the other day to get um, McDonald's breakfast, because I don't know if you guys know there's not. I feel like you guys have to know this, but apparently McDonald's has a happy hour menu now, by the way. They make it to where, starting at midnight, instead of 4 a.m., um, they make it to where you can uh, start getting breakfast items off of the menu starting at midnight. 
And uh, that includes Sausage McMuffs, which is 100% the best thing they have, I think. Hold on, I gotta scratch my eyeball. Uh, not my actual eyeball, because that would hurt really bad. Um, oh shit, did I, did I like miss some type of upgrade to my car? I think I did. I feel like there's something I didn't buy, and that's gonna end up fucking me in the ass. Not really, because that's really gross. But, actually, you know what? We're doing okay. I think we'll be alright. We should be able to do this without much of an issue. But, yeah, so you can start doing that. And so, hash browns and the sausage McMuffs and the orange juices, all available at the strike of midnight. So, that is, that is the goodest thing of the day. So, I got a couple of those. But I went there the other day. I think it was like, I think it was like, like Tuesday last week. And I went there. And they 100%, I go up there and I order my stuff, and they go and fucking tell me, oh, by the way, we don't have anything to make fries or hash browns out of. And I was, I, I actually rolled up the window. I rolled up the window, and I just like, I almost, I didn't really yell it, but I thought about it. And I was like, wait a minute. This is a fucking McDonald's at midnight, doesn't have the materials to make fries? and or hash browns, like one of your signature token items, the the world famous McDonald's fries, and you can't even make them at midnight because you ran, you supposedly ran out of potatoes to make fries. That's like going to, a, I mean that's pretty much like going to like, you know, that's, that'd be like going to fucking Baskin Robbins and them being like, oh yeah, by the way, we're out of ice cream. I mean, I know it's not really the same comparison, because it'd be like going to McDonald's and they can't make burgers. They're like out of meat or something, but that's still fucking bullshit. How are you going to be out of that type of stuff? I mean, that's like, at midnight, that's when all the people are going to be coming in. As if they don't have people coming in at all times anyways, but all the people coming in late at night, because that's the joint for late night food. And you mean to tell me that you're going to sit here and, and not have fries? Like, what type of blasphemous bullshit hole is this? Meanwhile, we won that race, by the way, and I don't think I actually did really any upgrades besides the exhaust system. I don't even think I even put an NA tune-up in there. I'm almost positive I forgot about that. But that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. You never loved me anyway. I'm trying to remember who... Oh, that was Hoku. Haha. <laughs> For the soundtrack of Snow Day on Nickelodeon. I remember that shit now. Alright, the mini challenge. Oh, God. I knew a girl that had a Mini Cooper. It was my, uh, my friend's ex. She was pretty cute. And she had a Mini Cooper. And, uh, let's just, let's just say that I don't like Mini Coopers. I, I never have been a fan of those types of body styles. It just doesn't work for me. It really doesn't. I just want to get a preview here just to make sure that I don't do what I just did with those fucking Alans and, you know, buy one too many. Okay, so we can get that 1.3i. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know. As long as I can get one of those, we're good to go here. But I definitely, uh, I got a text from Maddie, and like a few minutes ago, right before I started this, and he's like, dude, I am way too drunk right now. He's like, I just got, like, Kylie just took me back to my car, and I'm just sitting in my car. Can't even do a damn thing right now. I was like, well, do you need me to come get you? Like, is that something that needs to happen right now so you can get your ass home? He's like, no, no. He's like, he's like, I sober up quickly, so I'll be fine in just a little bit. He's like, but, dude. Because, like, okay, let's let's run down what this fucker had. Like, he had, he had one of those buckets of alcohol, like I told you about. Like, it's not a very big bucket. It's pretty small. Like, I'm literally talking, like, maybe half the size of those, the ones that, like, the little kids get to go to the beach with. He had... He had one of those, which he never actually finished the whole thing, so that's another little piece of the puzzle right there. And then he had a bunch of those little jello shots inside of the, the fucking thing. And then I think he had like a Jaeger bomb, and he had whatever the hell a red shot is, which I don't even know what that is, but somebody got him one of those. So that happened. And then he got a Washington apple, which those are pretty, pretty solid. And then... What the hell did he, he got? And that, that was just that place. Then it, then we went to uh, we went to uh, we went to Giorgio's, and he got um, two more Jaeger bombs there. What the hell? What is this? I just got an error. 
the hell for? Oh god, this isn't good. Alright, so we're gonna give that another try. That was a bunch of fucking bullshit. I haven't really had to deal with a catastrophic error of that magnitude in a while. So I definitely just had to play my way back into this. But I don't even, where was I in this whole story? Oh! Yeah, so we went to Giorgio's and he got a couple more uh, a couple more Jaeger bombs and we went off to one more place to go play some darts and he ended up having a couple more things there too. I like didn't even notice it. And he gets back to his car and I'm like, you know, I'm pretty much home. And uh, he just he just now sends me a text a few minutes ago. He's like, dude, it's like I cannot drive. I'm just like sitting in my car, just like incapacitated. And, uh, was, and then I asked him, I was like, so do you need me to come get you or anything? He's like, he's like, no, nah. I, I was like, I, he's like, I sober up pretty quick, so I'll just chill here for a while and I'll be good. And I get another text from him like five minutes later, he's like, dude. <laughs> he's like, definitely just got out of my car, went and puked on the ground in the parking lot of Target. And then he's like, and then I peed in it. <laughs> and then right after that, he's like, he's like, so I decided to try to drive. He's like, so I drove to the other side of the parking lot definitely got out again and puked on my left tire and peed in it. <laughs> oh, so funny. And now he's just like chilling in the car and so I'm like just kind of like checking in on him to make sure that he's not doing something fucking stupid because I don't think he's fit to go yet and he, he definitely has a pretty solid drive ahead of him. Not like he has to go like super far away but he's he's got to get up out on the freeway and he's got to go you know drive a few miles down the freeway hit the off-ramp and then go drive out in the woods for a few minutes so it's not exactly the best drive to be making when you're not all there so I'm trying to keep an eye on him as much as I can because I don't have the gas to go out and you know deal with that right now so I'm trying to at least be the good guy here and you know keep tabs on him a little bit to make sure that he's not doing something out of his godforsaken mind but we went and we went and played darts again and again I still haven't won and I figured, you know, now that he's, you know, had a couple of drinks in him, I should be able to beat him at this point, because I haven't really had much of anything besides a couple of beers. And, uh, you know, one little bit of a, uh, of a fireball and coke that somebody else had, and that wasn't really doing too much for me. But I, uh, I go and I'm like, alright, so I should be good to go here. He ends up winning the first game, because apparently when he's drunk, he is just able to do whatever the hell he wants. I ended up losing that one. Played another game, ended up losing to somebody else, but I was ahead the whole game, and all I needed was just a single 14 to win. Totally blew it. Ah, oh, I, I just, I swear to God, I'm never going to win a game of darts. It's just never going to happen. But at least on on the bright side, I can drown out my sorrows in a good old-fashioned pair of sausage McMuffs and a couple of uh, a couple of hash browns, you know. I bought some for uh, I bought some for Lige, and when I took him home, he fucking he gets out of the car and he goes and he drops both of his hash browns on the ground. But then he went and picked them up, and I mean it was five second rule. I mean nothing like a good old fashioned set of floor sugar to to fix your problems. But you know, what do you do? But that's uh, that's pretty much what's going on. So it's like 3:30 in the morning right now. I need to eat. And as soon as I get done eating, I need to go to bed because I got to work at 11 and I haven't slept very well in the last like three days. So I should probably go right now. But it was a lot of fun hanging out with you guys this early in the morning. When we come back next time on uh, Gran Turismo 2, hopefully the game doesn't do some bullshit crashing on me again because I was fucking retarded. And then we're going to knock out the rest of this mini challenge and then the MGF challenge right after that. And then we'll uh, we'll get rocking some more. So until then, my friends, this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll check you guys later. So take it easy. Bye. Motherfuckers sucking on my ballsack.